Okay, this is a 1937 Rudge Ulster, my favorite motorcycle of all time. Uh, called the Ulster because in 1929, Rudge won the famous Ulster Grand Prix uh, with Murray Walker's dad uh, as the rider. And it was renamed the Ulster for the following season and it always represented their top of the range sports model. Uh, they differ from normal motorcycles because they're Rudges and Rudge did everything themselves in house. So first thing, cylinder head is made of bronze um, and it's also four valves. It's got two parallel ones here, two radial ones here, so it's a semi-radial head. So it's a four valve twin exhaust port single. So it's not a twin, it's a single. 500cc, very high compression. Um, Raj designed the engine themselves, built it themselves, and their own gearbox, and their own brakes. The brakes were supposedly so powerful that with normal spoke lacing, you'd actually twist the rims. So what they did, if you look carefully, you can see that there's no spoking on this side of the rim. It's either in the middle or to one side. And this is to stop the rims twisting under the brakes. And the brakes were reckoned to be the best in the world. And Rudge modestly, um, and very modestly in her advertising, said that no bike would outbreak a Rudge and no bike would, no 500cc single was faster than a Rudge either. They did other models, they did a slightly lower tune model called a Special, as a 500, they also did a 250. The other thing Rudgy said is they have linked brakes. So when you push this brake here, not only does it operate a back brake, but it also, trotting around, is connected to the front brake. So pushing the back brake pedal operated both brakes at the same time. So they invented linked braking about 70 years before Motocuzzi. Um, they also have this unique center stand. So the center stand is operated by the lever. So you can just pull it up to get onto the center stand. So you can pull the bike onto the stand with, while sitting on the motorcycle. Being a gentleman's motorcycle, they cost nearly 90 guineas back in the late thirties, which was a lot of money. Uh, they don't have anything as common as a rev counter. They have a 120 mile an hour speedo and an eight day clock so that you know where you're going and what time you have to arrive, but you don't need to have you know, tawdry discussions about revolutions. The clutch lever on the Ulster is shorter than the brake lever. And just the Ulster did that because it gave you extra leverage for braking when you're racing. So you can use the front brake, of course, but mostly you do it with both brakes. In other respects they're kind of similar to an awful lot of 30s built bikes. Beautifully made, a time when craftsmen made motorcycles and they weren't really ride to work vehicles which they were after the war. Um, so they're made by craftsmen with a lot of knowledge of the sort of 40 years of motorcycle history by this time so they knew what they were doing. Four speed. Uh, the Rudge is again very high compression and so to start it you have this which is a half compression lever. You pull that out and it means you don't need to find top dead center or anything so if i can hold the camera and start it all at the same time you never know it might even fire up a little tickle and bear with me in case it all goes horribly wrong And that is a 1937 four valve Rudge Ulster 500cc, the best motorcycle I've ever ridden.